Hi friends, I'm Elma Joy, a working professional and creative in San Diego, California and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is where I will share my weekly vlogs and if you'd like, please subscribe and follow along. I'd love to have you in my community and so I want to catch up and just say hello to everyone. It has been a very busy time. Last Friday, my best friend got married and she is so happy and I'm just so overjoyed for her and her husband and they're on their honeymoon now. So so I'm just happy that their wedding is done and then now Chris and I are focusing on our wedding as well and so it's just been so so busy but things are falling into place I believe it and I'm going to continue to say that and trust that things will continue to happen the way they're meant to happen even if things don't go perfectly and speaking of weddings you might notice that I have my makeup done my hair done so this is my hair and makeup trial for the wedding i think it's really cute um very fresh and i like it and um we went to dinner afterwards and had a mini photo shoot at book off which is one of our favorite bookstores and so it was really meaningful because i know chris had such a really long day at work and he still went out of his way to spend time with me and do these things that I really want to do, especially in this special time of our engagement. Um, we're only going to be engaged for about 50 more days and then we'll be married. And this period is going to fly by so fast. And so I want to savor it. And so I actually had uh, my sister's boyfriend take photos of us. And he's a really good photographer, so I'm excited to see the photos there. And we had our photo shoot in Book Off, as I mentioned, and then we got ramen after. And it kind of reminds me of our first date where we went to get ramen and a bookstore. And so it's just very sentimental for me. Um, and then over the weekend, Chris and I had another photo shoot for our, our official photographer for our wedding. And he took our engagement photo shoot in Balboa Park and Imperial Beach. And Imperial Beach, we were able to take Shibi, our dog, with us. And speaking of Shibi, it's her birthday today and it's her ninth birthday. I'm so grateful for her. I always wanted a dog and she is just the best dog. She's so happy and loyal and she just shows how she she is so resilient because she lost both of her eyes last year and she's just the most energetic and lovable and just happy dog and it just reminds you to be present and so with that i'm going to get ready for the night take off this makeup take down this hair and just relax because it's just been a non-stop day and i hope you're doing well friends and welcome to the vlog checking in it is Wednesday April 17 2024 I am currently wearing a fruit top that I thrifted 
and a wide leg jean from Gap and I have my makeup done, I'm freshly showered and I feel good and I hope you're feeling well as well friends. I wanted to hop on and share a little bit of reading from this book that I've been sharing. This Just Speaks to Me, Words to Live By Every Day by Hoda Kotob, which is a book of quotes and today's quote for April 17th is Always walk through life as if you have something new to learn and you will. And this is by Vernon Howard. And this is such a pertinent and timely quote for me because I have received an opportunity to go into a program at my work and it's just a very exciting one because it's something I love, which is coaching. So I love coaching and supporting people in reaching their goals and reflecting on their progress and just what their situation is. And so I am selected by my work to partake in this program and it is so exciting. I am a little nervous, but you know, I am excited to learn a lot. And so I'm hoping to be able to start this program in June when it begins because it is just a great opportunity for me. And so I've just been thinking about it, thinking about the future and just what it holds and just all the uncertainty and changes that are going to come for sure and that are already here because, you know, I'm engaged and I'm about to get married in about 50 days, which is crazy, but so exciting. And, you know, who knows, like in the next year, I could be pregnant, I could have a child. It is just wild how much change can happen. And this month, at the end of the month, on the April 29th, I am turning 35 and that is a milestone birthday for me. So I'm very excited about that. And so, yeah, just a lot of reflection going on right now because so much is going on and so there's so much to do. But at the same time, I feel like, you know, I'm a bit tired, um, but that is normal. I will get through everything bit by bit. I actually just made an appointment to get my ring resized. And so that's something that I have to do and then work on the bridal shower and the wedding shower plans as well. And um, I spoke to my aunt and she is doing the flowers for my wedding and I'm so happy that she'll be able to be there and do that for me, which is so kind of her. And so I have a lot of things on my plate, but I have a lot of support, especially from Chris. I'm so grateful for that. Um, he's very involved and we're actually looking at our engagement rings or our wedding bands. Now it's been a fun journey looking for his because he wants something very unique and that is so him and so special because he wants something meaningful to our big day and just to symbolize our marriage. And for me, I just want something very classic because that's just how I am, very simple. Um, and so I'm doing a gold band to just match my current engagement ring. And so maybe in a couple years, I'll upgrade to uh, one with like diamonds all around it. But for now, I feel like most comfortable with something simple because I don't want to mess it up. I don't want to lose it. And, you know, I could always upgrade in the future, you know, in our 10 year anniversary or whatnot. And so, yeah, I'm doing well overall. I think going to walk, I haven't been outside all day and it's been a very busy day for me just inside getting work things done, being in meetings and then, you know, just cleaning up myself and the room. And so I hope you are doing well, friends, and I'll check in with you soon. Hey friends, checking in. It is Saturday, April 20th, 2024. Hope you're doing well. I am hanging in there. I had a bit of a challenging week and so I'm happy to be finally checking in and giving an update on how I'm doing. So yesterday I had a doctor's appointment and then I got a COVID vaccine booster as well as a tetanus shot vaccine. And so I'm feeling it in my arm and in my body. I feel like very achy, very fatigued. And so 
I knew that that I would have today kind of to rest and so I figured why not just take those vaccines and just take care of myself and give myself some rest and some break to you know recuperate from like a challenging week that I had and yesterday afterwards I treated myself because I was like oh I hate shots and so I had something to look forward to so I went to a cafe public house as you could see in my vlog and then I went there shopping and I got a couple of new things so I want to share those with you all right so the first thing that I got was a dress and it was so funny because I actually have this dress but in brown and it's in this pretty metallic blue color and it's very flattering I really like it um, and so it's great to have and it has sleeves and so it's very easy to throw on and just have a complete outfit so that is one and then the next thing I got is for my uniform for choir and so I got this white top and so it's like a ribbed white top and um, it's just very simple but a little bit dressy look at the material and so this is a good find and it has long sleeves and last but not least I got the pleated skirt so it's a loose kind of like stretchy skirt that I can wear over these white tops and um, with the blazer so that's my new uniform and so I got these three things and they were about like $30 total which is a great deal because I needed these things for church and so I was looking for that and I love it when it all comes together and you find exactly what you need and then last thing I want to share is a book I got um, and it's called life's little instruction book 511 suggestions observations and reminders on how to live a happy and rewarding life and I got this from book off so Chris and I actually had a photo shoot in book off a used bookstore and that was really fun because we were able to um, hang out with my sister's boyfriend and he is a really good photographer and so I'm really excited to post those pictures um, and you know we had to go book shopping because we were there already and so I'll read a couple of these things here um, let's see. So 210, commit yourself to constant self-improvement. And then let's flip again. Focus on making things better, not bigger. And let's flip again. Send your loved one flowers. Think of a reason later. And that's a good one. I love doing that. And then last but not least, think big thoughts but relish small pleasures. I like that. So this is the book, it's called Life's Little Instruction Book and I got it for a dollar and so I really like it. I love like little old books um, just to flip through and like get little nuggets of knowledge. And so yeah, I'm doing fine. Um, I made sure to eat and take care of the dog. So I'm currently taking care of this dog named Bentley and he's super cute, he's like a little teddy bear. Um, he definitely has some separation anxiety so I just make sure to give him some extra love and attention. And you know, I've been really good about getting him to eat and taking him out on walks and taking him in his stroller and just like giving him a lot of uh, pets and affection. And so yeah, I'm really grateful because I love this dog sit. It's a very peaceful neighborhood and the owners are great and so they're so kind and supportive so yeah all in all I feel like I'm doing fine I was able to complete some scripts for uh, church media that I do and so I got a lot of things done I also had therapy and support group and so I just wanted to take care of my mental health because I have been struggling lately and so it's okay to struggle but it is even more important to realize that you need support and to go after that and advocate for yourself. So I always do that, I lean on my friends and loved ones and so I'm just so grateful for that. And so yeah, if you're struggling at this time, friends, please be strong and keep going. Um, things will get better with time and I am hopeful for all of us. All right, I'll check in with you soon, bye.